I'm Charlene, the founder of HelpMeToStop.org. Live here with Alex, uh, the volunteer for HelpMeToStop.org. And we are here live um, in the New York City Comedy Club, benefiting the Trichotillomania Learning Center, or trick.org. Um, and right soon after, we're going to be entertained by uh, Billy uh, for his comedy, Don't Pull Your Hair Out. Well, I could play the most, so I could play the guitar hero. You want to play the guitar hero? Because like, I feel useful. Like, I can actually like accomplish something. I'm like, wow, look at me. I want this for every aspect of my life. I want to play good paying job hero. Good self esteem hero. Full head of hair hero. Billy is a 26 going on 26 year hair pulling. Um, he's a radio personality. He has his uh, blog talk uh, radio, It's Tricky. He believes that the best form of um, cure is laughter. So what is trick, Alex? Hey there, this is Alex Pratt with HelpMeToStop.org. Um, Trichotillomania is a condition where people feel the uncontrollable urge to pull out their own hair, resulting in a noticeable hair loss or even sometimes baldness. Uh, millions of people have this disorder, but yet no one has really heard about it, and we're just here to uh, change that and help all the sufferers out there know that they're not alone in this fight. So um, HelpMeToStop.org was created to help all these people, and Charlene, why don't you tell us a little bit about your organization? I'll be glad to. HelpMeToStop.org is a nonprofit organization um, which connects beauty salon professionals with uh, financially disadvantaged trick sufferers um, to provide the salon treatments that they need to help them boost their morale and get them on the road to recovery because, you know, like what beauty is, I mean, when you look good, you feel great, right? Right. And I can say firsthand, I uh, do have trichotillomania. I've suffered from this disorder about 13 years. Um, you know, I hid for a long time in shame, but now I'm sort of out of the closet and proud and trying to spread awareness for all the rest of the people in the world. And uh, like myself, Billy is in the same boat. He's just out there and we're on top of the building screaming and we're just getting the word out that, you know, a lot of people have this disorder and a lot of people need help. You guys are gonna be like culturally blown tonight. Um, <laughs> It's honestly short for my full Persian Iranian name. Are you guys ready? Which is Asamane Mohtarez. Oh no! A S E M A N E H. God, in American it's pronounced ass man. 12 years, New Jersey public school education. French. Yes, that's me. I've been doing that since seventh grade, by the way. And my mom, like, does your mom ever slap your hand away when you guys are doing it? Do you, does anybody ever do it in public? I do it in public. And my mom's like, stop it. Now come on, back to the gate. You're gonna have no eyebrows, no one wants to marry you with no eyebrows. Stop it! <laughs> Sorry, I'm possessed by the spirit of my mom. Alright guys, we're going to be coming up to the stage. You guys know a good friend of mine. I've uh, toured with him a little bit. And uh, very funny, done the Howard Stern show. And he's also on the Testosterone show with Kenny. Give it up for Mike Bichetti! <laughs> Hi guys, you're up for Billy for putting this together. You guys are so nice. <laughs> So how are you guys doing? Good? Yeah. Good. I've been all over the internet and TV lately. I'm Susan Boyle. Thank you. I gotta get better shape, you know, I'm, I'm getting too big and everything. Because my fitness goals have really changed a lot as, as I'm getting older. I did have fitness goals once, people. <laughs> Like when I was like 18 years old, I just wanted to have like good cardiovascular health, you know? Then I got into my 20s, I was like, 
I just want to be under 300 pounds. That's my fitness goal. <laughs> and that didn't work out too well. But I'm here, I'm in my late 30s, and my only fitness goal is, I just don't want to lose my feet to diabetes. It's <laughs> pretty much my fitness goal. I don't care about the definition of my triceps or the abs. I just want feet. <laughs> Thank you. I want to thank you all for coming out tonight, not just for supporting the TLC, but because without you guys, uh, I have no job. So, and you can't collect unemployment being a comic. I've tried, it doesn't work. This is where you end up when you're the class clown for all seven years of high school. I think of myself a pioneer of childhood obesity. <laughs> Uh, you know the um, the t-shirt uh, over the bathing suit in the swimming pool? Uh, you know? You're welcome. That's me. Now a trendsetter. An early adopter, uh, if you will. But um, back in my day, you didn't have the kind of fancy fat kid stores that you see nowadays. Like, you didn't have a big baby gap, you know? There was no big baby gap. Uh, there was no Lane Bryant Jr. Uh, back in my day, you had the Sears Men's Department. <laughs> Where all little sweeties get their pants. I'm here with Hillary, one of the performers for Billy's uh, Pulling his, Your Hair Out Comedy Benefit. Hillary, you did great. Thank you. And you are a trickster yourself? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Telemania and German Telemania. I pick uh, my skin and pull my hair. Gotcha. And do you think it's great what Billy's doing, trying to just bring this open into the community so everyone knows about it? Absolutely. I think that this is an issue that a lot of people suffer from. They suffer from in silence. I think that using comedy to bring the sound to the open is brilliant, and I'm so grateful that Billy is doing this. And I think this is the first ever Trichotillomania comedy benefit, I think. Uh, I think so, too. I would be surprised if there were others, but if there are, great. We could, you know, join together and be a whole traveling comedy trichotillomania circus. Right. <laughs> All right. Well, you did awesome. Thank you for the interview. And, uh, Thank you for what you're doing. No problem. Yep. So this is Alex with HelpMeToStop.org, and uh, good job, Billy, and guests. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> hey, this is Alex with HelpMeToStop.org, and we're here with Billy. We just wrapped up his comedy show. Billy, you did great, and all your guests. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, overwhelmed, I really say. The turnout was great, and uh, but I couldn't do it without these guys. They've been a part of it and helped me out so much. And uh, you know, it's a team effort. Uh, I'm just glad it went everything went so well. I'm glad you guys came. I know everybody traveled so far. And very touched and very overwhelmed right now. And That's I think cool. we're doing a great thing. We are going to be we're fighters. We're going to be loud right. about this. We're going to let everybody um, know. Twelve years yourself, right? Almost thirteen years, 13 years being 26. a trickster. Yeah. I'm getting offers from people who had tricked. They wanted me to come to Florida and wow. California and Pennsylvania and Nashville and all. So. Well, I'll pack you clothes. I know you will, because I can't do it myself. <laughs> and we were talking about a telethon, and maybe? A yes, um, for the help me to stop the work, might do a telethon. Yeah, so. We have all sorts of ideas. This is going to be huge. We got things cooking, and I just hope uh, hopefully mm -hmm. now we can just get a little spotlight. Mm -hmm. Well, we, you know, you try, and, uh, you try, you try all your life. You take all kinds of medication. You know, you go to therapy for years and years and years, and they tell you, um, take a rubber band when you want to pull out your hair and smack it, and his wrist used to be like this. Really? Look at Popeye's after Yeah. Up. And it never, nothing ever worked. Nothing ever worked. Well, nothing. shaving it worked. I can't do well, it Well, shaving it works go. now. Oh, it was broken. You know, when something happens to your kid, you feel, what can I do? What can I do? What can I do? Right. I had him in therapy for 15 years, medication, hospital, nothing, nothing more. And that's why we're here. We're here to help everyone and right. spread the cause, mm -hmm. create more awareness, um, absolutely, and have um, you know, laughter is a, like what Billy said. Laughter, laughter is a cure. Laughter is a cure, mm -hmm. and everybody that hides behind everything, and which they were. Shouldn't have to do it anymore. Well, yeah. that's what we say. Whether you pull your hair out for a year or you pull out for 26, we just want all those people to know that they're not alone and they don't need Absolutely. to be in shame.